This is fresh fennel from the Green Path Garden, just right outside the school. And fresh fennel seeds are my favorite way to work with fennel. They are absolutely delicious. I love to eat them and they make great tinctures as well. Whether you're using alcohol or whether you're using glycerin, they make an absolutely delicious tasting tincture. So what I'm doing right now is I'm garbling the fennel and that means anytime you garble an herb, you're just taking out the parts of the plant you wanna keep and then you're discarding and in my case, I will compost the rest of those. So I'm taking the fennel seeds and I tasted a little bit of the small fennel stems to make sure, you know, to decide whether I wanted those in the glyceride or not. And they actually taste delicious. They taste just like fennel. So I decided to keep them in. So here we are using a mortar and pestle and we are just, um, crushing up or bruising those fresh fennel seeds to release their medicinal and aromatic properties. You can also do this with a blender or an immersion blender if you want to after you add your glycerin. And then we're weighing the, the seeds. And this is a gram scale, but you can also use a scale that weighs in ounces. So here's the math for the fresh plant glycerite. You wanna do a one to two ratio, one part herbs per weight to two parts menstruum by volume. The herbs weighed 117 grams, so we want our menstruum to be twice that, or 234 milliliters. The menstruum is made up of both glycerin and water. The glycerin that we'll use for the fresh plant can range from about 70 to 100%, and then the water would be anywhere from 0 to 30%. And this is really based on the water content of the fresh plant. So if the plant has more water in it, you would want to use a higher amount of glycerin. And that just helps to preserve that glycerite longer and make sure it's going to stay good for you. So after you've weighed your herb, then you're going to put it in a jar. And I actually love, this is one of my very favorite tools, is this little um, canning funnel. I use it all the time for medicine making. So we're filling the jar up and we're just going to press those herbs down in there. You want about an inch of space at the top of the jar once, you're, once you've put everything in there. For dried herbs, you want around a half to a quarter inch. And then we're going to add our glycerin, and in this case, the menstruum, and in this case, it's 100% glycerin. You can see the air bubbles coming up there. And then we are going to put a, a lid very tightly on our jar to hold in especially the essential oils. And we want to use a canning jar for sure for this because what we're going to do is we're going to boil the water, so have it come to a boil, and then we're going to simmer it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Once you've simmered your herb, you can let it sit until it's cooled. And sometimes I'll just even let it sit overnight. So now we're going to pour it out. And you can use a cloth for that, and you can set that either in a strainer, in a bowl, or in this case, we are going to use a press. And you can see I kind of have that press tilted up so that our glycerite isn't spilling out the spout there. So we're putting the press cloth nicely inside the press canister, and now we're going to just um, pressurize that. So to do that, we just spin it down, and some of you might be familiar with this press like this, so we just um, wind it down, and then you're gonna get your beautiful golden glycerite out of that. And honestly, it smells like fresh, freshly made pancakes. It is the most amazing smell. And it's useful for the digestive system. It's a wonderful carminative, so you can use it for gas and bloating, and it's just a wonderful aid to digestion for children, adults, or even animals.
Hey everyone, this is Mason with Herb Rally. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and also go ahead and subscribe. Uh, we come out with new herbal content each and every week. Uh, if you didn't know, Herb Rally also lists herbalism events. Uh, we list herbalism events chronologically. Uh, we list them also by state. So you could just go ahead and search uh, by Oregon or Wisconsin or wherever you live, uh, you could find out what uh, herbalism events are happening in your neck of the woods. Uh, we also list herbalism events, virtual herbal events. Uh, so if you can't make it to an in-person conference or plant walk, uh, we list lots of virtual events as well. Uh, for, to find out more, you could go to herbrally.com slash events or herbrally.com slash virtual. But if you can help it, I would highly recommend trying to go to an herbalism conference. Uh, those are some of the, the best learning experiences I've ever had, and that's where you can find uh, different herbal teachers, and then maybe you could perhaps take their apprenticeship. But yeah, just do what you can. Uh, get out there and learn about the herbs, you know, like yarrow, dandelion, corn, um, um, you know, all the above, like all the medicinal herbs. Um, and we'll see you out there. Uh, hope to see you at an herb conference. All right, bye.